Portugal clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Bernardo Silva. He's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass and he's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate and that will be a standout for this team over the course, I can assure you. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Ruben Neves, and it's Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. It's a great ball. Uh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Thinks he's got rid of that. Ruben Neves battles to win it back. And it's played forward. Drives it towards the front. Hoists it forward. Shall I? Really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ruben Neves. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Hit long and direct. Up towards the front line. Shall I? Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Shall I? Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Bernardo Silva. 
forward it goes. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva has a goal! Jack looks to bypass the midfield. Tries to get it forward quickly. Jujak. Bernardo Silva gets it out to the wing. Forward it goes. Guerrero tries to get it forward quickly. William Carvalho gets it back. Chance to shoot! Cristiano Ronaldo hoists it forward. He's played him through. It's found its way through. He's had a shot. Goal! Hungary! And Hungary are in front. Well, when the game's played like that, it's made to look very simple. You know, I love watching football like this. Easy, effective, one-two and bang. Thanks very much. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Bernardo Silva has alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Now the counter. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. It still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. So we're just settling back into this second half. Portugal don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Ronaldo. It's been caught there, it's a foul. And this is a great chance to get themselves back square. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, that's fabulous! About as smooth as it gets. The second half sparks straight into life. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. It's loose, who's getting there? A heavy challenge. Little doubt, that is a foul. Ruben Neves. And it's played forward. Helps available out wide. Bernardo Silva. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. Pepe gets into the right position to intercept. Bruno Fernandes plays it forward. Bernardo Silva. Timely intervention. Shalai pushes to get on the end of it. Bruno Fernandes. It has got through to him. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Gets good distance on it. Bernardo Silva. 
And it's Carvalho. Carvalho. He's tried one. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Tries to get it clear. And it's Guerrero. And that has sent him sprawling. Guerrero with a beautifully timed run. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo finds himself offside. Hungary have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Keeper's got good distance on that. Looks to thread it through. Ruben Neves. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Gets wrestled off the ball. Now it's Jujak. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Just brushed off the ball there. Bernardo Silva. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Jujak. Shalai gets into a dangerous position. Hungary merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Gets it upfield. And it's Jujak. Bruno Fernandes gets it back. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. That's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Ruben Neves. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Could move up a gear here. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. Ball shows there will be three extra minutes. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And time is up. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? I think all's well that ends well on this one. They push for more and show good determination to avoid less, so it has to be a point.